All right, YouTube, another night in the garage for you. We've got some exciting things, some different projects we're working on this afternoon. You notice here we've taken our brake caliper off our right rear. We've got it set up right on top of our workbench here. We are going to be rebuilding this Willwood Super Light Caliper. The number on this one is 1201191. And uh, that's what we're going to be working on. So we're going to be taking out the pistons. We're going to put in some new seals. We're going to be installing some new bleeder valves. Overall cleanup on everything. Um, we're going to do this times four across the car. Make sure all of our brake system looks good. This also gives us an excellent opportunity to get all of our brake fluid replaced. And as we mentioned in our last video, we came up a little long right here not to fear we've got our brake flaring equipment on site and on hand we're going to get that all fixed up and if all goes well and we make good progress we'll be putting brake fluid in all the reservoirs and getting everything rocking and rolling so appreciate you guys checking our video out today if this is your first time here with us make sure you check out some of our up other uploads and uh, check out some of our awesome progress that we've done hang tim we're going to get rocking and rolling Dirty. Dirty. Yeah, that one First there step. Got a broken yeah. off leader valve. We're gonna fix that. We've got some new ones. Question will be what does it look like once we pull it out? That'll be the big question. So this whole process probably should be done every year. Um, we've never done it to these, and these are all used pieces that we've purchased uh, off Facebook and so on and so forth. So it's time. We've had some bleeders, obviously, that we've had some problems with, so time for everything to get replaced. About 100 bucks, take care of business, all four wheels, versus $200 a piece for new calipers. Yeah, and the bleeder screw is a quarter inch. <laughs> okay, now we got those tightened down. Now we should be able to make the magic happen here. You don't need a lot of PSI. And then we can ratchet it back in. Push her out a little bit more. Okay. Ratchet her back in. Push her out a little bit more. So I got one side that's cheating more than my other side. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. See how this side's cheating more than this side? So that starts happening. You can control one side. Just by applying a little bit of clamping force. So we're trying to force these pistons out. They're, they're a little bit more stuck than the other side. See that? Mm -hmm. Okay. We'll retract a little bit more. Probably one more time, then we could probably pop them out by hand after that. One more time. And that should probably do it. We're gonna hope, we're gonna take everything apart and see what happens. See if we can get them out by hand now. 
Now it comes out. Oh, this one here's got some dry rod on her. It's <laughs> grip. Yeah, she's had some, <laughs> some time on her. Okay, so non marring, rubberized, whatever you want to call this thing, belt, strap, wrench. Oh. Of course, you get that first round of brake fluid on there. And Boom. Boom. That works pretty good, too. Now we're just going to clean everything up, pop the seals out, put some new ones in there, and press everything back down. That easy? There's not much to it? Right. Well, dang, you've got this one rebuilt already. Yep, movie magic. <laughs> movie magic. <laughs> we have the brake pad spreader. So we use brake pad spreader to spread them back out and make sure they get pressed in there nice and easy. Nice and even, baby. All right, I need to find some washers, all right? I mean, I think you need to do something at least tonight. Whoa, 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 whoa. Tighten up. All right, get you guys caught back up the speed here. We have got all of the brake calipers rebuilt. So that's four seals, two brake bleeders, plus a full clean and polish of all the pistons. We got all that squared away. We've got to fix this uh, brake line that we ran that's a little too long. I think we're probably going to have to cut and flare the other side because it's a touch too long for our new setup. So we're gonna walk you guys through that process of how I like to cut and flare. So Drew's gonna get a little bit closer so we can get you through here. I wanna make sure that my nut is down and make sure that I leave myself enough room. We're gonna use just this little bit of cutter right here. Let's get it started, twist her down. Get her started, twist her down. All right, we're almost through. There it goes. All right, next thing I like to do uh, when I flare my brake lines, got this cool little tool from Eastwood. Had it for a while. It just basically deburrs and polishes everything up. Makes it real nice. Get that in there. Do that one first. That chamfers the outside edge, and then this this chamfers the inside edge. Nickel copper brake line is really soft, so it doesn't take a whole lot of pushing to get it cleaned up and looking good. Can't wait to get the brakes going. Yeah, buddy. Okay, so we got our 3 16 uh, line. So we're going to use our 3 16 hole. I'm just going to snug it up here. I'll show you guys the trick just a second so you know where to where to get it rolling here yeah. 
You want to take your die and you want the brake line to stick out just as far as the die. So look at that, man. I did pretty good just by eyeballing yeah. it there. And then you're going to tighten down all of your extra pieces. All right, secret sauce to flaring out brake lines is on your die. You've got this beveled edge. Sorry, my dies are kind of old. This is a cheap kit that I bought from Jegs a while ago. It's just to put a couple drops of oil right in there. Three in one oil. You can use brake fluid. You know, if you're in a pinch. WD 40 if you have to. That's it. That's all you need. And that's going to lubricate the end of that die to help give you a nice press out. Or insert that in there. Yeah, update on the engine mount. Uh, we should get it shortly. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Yeah. Oh. I got confirmation today. It will be here tomorrow for very, sure. Very nice. I'll check things off the list. We got a little over a month. Yeah, it won't be long now. Now this is critical just like when we did the uh, electricity. You better make sure that nut is down there on that line before you flare this thing out or you will regret it. Mm -hmm. Oop, my fits all ain't fitting, fitting so all. That's our fan mail right there. Hmm. Okay, so that's the first flare. Got it down nice and tight. See right in there, everything's good. Just gonna back this off a little bit. Slide that up. See how nice that looks? Show them how nice that looks. Then we gotta make the second part of the flare. It's a double flare. So it fits nice and tight. Put that piece right back down in there. No need to lubricate again. There's still plenty of lube on there. And again, if this was steel line, you'd have to be a little bit more gur with it. But with the nickel copper, you actually just wanna be kind of a softy with it. And that's all it takes. Get the rest of this off of here and you guys can see it. And it should work just fine. Look at that, that's what I'm talking about. Very nice, very nice. We decided to redo the flare on the uh, left side. Looked a little shoddy. Not real sure why we left it in the first place, but it was a little long as well too, because uh, we had it ran a little bit different. So uh, we are going to reflare this one and hook up the left side, and then we should be able to bleed them. It's getting late. Cameraman finally shows up after the fact. Yeah, I did. Just show like the blister shows up when all the work is done. That's right. That's right. Well, we got everything uh, bled out. We got our drippy rags down here. The uh, night will entail uh, what leaks. Uh, we had a couple little mishaps, but uh, nothing terrible. Uh, so that is a wrap for this evening. Check off bleeding the brakes. Like and subscribe, comment. We like seeing everybody's comments. And uh, hit the bell for the next video. Thank you.